The Yosemite Environmental Living Program is a participatory living experience for children that can take place at any cultural, historic, or prehistoric site where the interaction and interdependency of people and their environment are represented. The program relies heavily on extensive classroom preparation, role playing, and problem solving both individually and in small or large groups. Through experiencing a period in Yosemite's history, children will discover that land use issues of that time period are similar land use issues addressed today in Yosemite National Park. Chopping and splitting wood, drawing water, and cooking over a wood-burning stove seem to be enormous tasks to us today yet they were necessary tasks of daily life for the early families in Yosemite. Traditional skills would include the creation of things both useful and enjoyable to the resident and traveler. The blacksmith was an important member of the community, creating the necessities of daily life. The transportation business had to work in close association with the hotels and road builders in order to provide service to the traveler. Healthy stock and a well-maintained stage were essential for business to thrive. Students will learn by doing the conflict, compromise, and negotiation that takes place over land use issues. Students will learn that a difference of opinion is a way of balancing the process of land use. The Yosemite Environmental Living Program takes place at the Pioneer Yosemite History Center located in Wawona, California, within Yosemite National Park. Of the more than 300 National Park units in the United States, this is the only environmental living program to focus on the history of land use in Yosemite. We encourage anybody that's interested in participating in the Environmental Living Program to stop by during our fall workshops or in the spring during April and May when our classes are on site. In this way, you can get a sense of the program and the amount of commitment necessary in order to make it succeed. The program welcomes any public, parochial, private, or home schools. The program is developed to follow the California State Frameworks in Social Science for California State History. Although other grade levels may participate, it is specifically geared towards grades 4, 5, and 8. This program is a true cooperative involving partnerships with the class, the school, the park staff, teachers, and the community. It's important to emphasize that none of this could happen without strong partnerships. You say you've got personal and family commitment? Now is the time to go to your principal and the school board for their commitment. You must get commitment from your local community, such as the PTA, local stores, service organizations, and commercial operations. You must help it grow. Remember, you cannot participate in a program like this alone. Once you've been selected for the program and gotten everyone's commitment and the community is involved, you are now prepared to organize the year's activities. You are not alone. You and your parent helpers will be attending the teacher workshop in the fall. At the workshop, you will meet park staff and mentor teachers, receive the handbook, well, yeah, and learn sure of the research sure library in the, the park. Sure you and, and your parent well, helpers okay. will develop a classroom outline of activities for your spring visit. The day has finally arrived and you begin your historic journey to Yosemite's past. After coming back from Yosemite, I had a better respect for my way of life. I also came away with the knowledge that I could have probably survived in the time of the frontier, even though it was hard work. One of the best parts about the Yelp experience is that we have spent so many months becoming the people we are portraying and their passion for the use of this valuable land. As I went to Yosemite with my family, my parents were amazed by all that I had picked up from the program. Through experiencing a period in Yosemite's history, children will discover that land use issues of that time period are the same land use issues addressed today in Yosemite National Park. As a result of this discovery, children can choose to make a personal commitment to the protection of our precious resources and our national parks, including Yosemite National Park.